Sundays ago, Jesus Christ revealed himself to the Samaritan woman at the well as the water of life. Last week in the story of the man born blind, Jesus said, I am the light of the Lord. Again and again, throughout the Gospel of John, Jesus Christ uses different symbols to tell us about his true identity. In John 6, 35, he says, I am the bread of life. In John 10, 9, he says, I am the door. In John 10, 11, he says, I am the good shepherd. In John 14, 6, he says, I am the way, the truth, and the life. And in John 15, 5, he says, I am the vine. The story is a little different today, my dear brothers and sisters, in the wonderful gospel story of the rising of Lazarus to life. When Martha told Jesus of the death of his friend Lazarus, his response is that he's not dead. Martha obviously believed in the resurrection of the dead on the last day. Jesus Christ revealed his identity to Martha. I am the resurrection and the life. What is different in today's story is that Jesus Christ did not only identify himself as the resurrection and the life, but also went ahead to show that he truly has power over life and death, and he brought Lazarus into life. For Mary and Martha, their situation was helpless. They have lost their beloved brother. Jesus overturned this situation and make it a happy one. Do you believe that what you are going through, Jesus can overturn that situation? That is what Jesus told Martha. If you believe, you will see the glory of God. We need to believe in order to see the glory of God. Lazarus' case looked hopeless at the time that Jesus arrived. Even, even though Martha believed that Jesus could bring Lazarus to life on the last day, she did not believe that Jesus will do it at that very moment. That is the reason Martha is saying to Jesus, he will stench because he has been buried for four days. Martha failed to understand that Jesus Christ is the resurrection and the life, and he can bring Lazarus back to life whenever he wants. My brothers and sisters, I do not know what you are going through right now. But many of you may be like Lazarus in one way or another. You may be going through spiritual death right now. When you pray, you don't feel anything. You are completely dead. Your whole life is empty. You have lost your faith in God, but you are here just to fulfill your obligation. Religion is all about the external without anything coming from within. Some people feel like that right now. When you pray, it seems like nothing is happening. You are at that point of crying. My God, my God, why have you forsaken me? Know that Jesus Christ is the resurrection and the life, and he can 
and will restore you to the fullness of the Spirit. Some of you may be going through physical death right now. You are dead to sickness. You are living every day of your life counting when you are going to die. You have an incurable disease and you are told there is no cure and you are perturbed. You are hiding your health situation and dying in your loneliness. You are suffering day and night. Jesus has good news for you today. The resurrection and the life can restore you. Talk about financial death. This is what many people are going through right now. You are afraid your home would be foreclosed. You feel you are completely gone. Your credit card debit is piling up. You are owing income tax and thinking about May 15. You are scared to death because you do not have money to pay. I want to assure you, my brothers and sisters, that the resurrection and the life will see you through that situation. Some of you are dead to family. Your wife or husband is unfaithful to you. That initial love you had when you got married is completely dead. Your children are really making you impatient and they aggravate you. There is chaos in your home. You may even be contemplating divorce right now. Jesus Christ has some good news for you today. He will bring your family and love back to life. Some of you are dead to work. There is no motivation at all when you get up in the morning to go for your work. You have not received a pay increase in many, many years. Yet the prices of things are going up. You feel like you are exhausted. You are even contemplating quitting your job. But you are afraid because you will not find another job. The resurrection and the life is saying to you today, my promise to you is that you will not be at the tail, but at the head. Do not give up like Martha and Mary. You may be dead to sin right now. You have lost your conscience and sin no longer perturbs you. You do not know how to get out of the bondage of sin you have placed yourself into. Jesus Christ is saying to you today, that is the reason I gave you the sacrament of reconciliation. Go and get yourself resurrected. Sometimes we do sin and we take it for granted. We try to sugarcoat. We find terms to use it. But my dear brothers and sisters, it remains a sin, even if we try to change here and there. The good news is Jesus is the resurrection and the life. And I have some question for all of us. The question which I have is, do you believe that Jesus Christ can overturn your situation? Amen. Some of you believe strongly in Newton's law of gravity. Not so? Yes. Whatever goes up must surely come down. I want to assure you today that this theory has no place in God's book of theories. God wants to replace this law 
with a higher law, the law of aerodynamics. It is the law that keeps a plane up in the sky. Some of you may have gone up and fallen. All the wonderful hopes you had for the future are gone. Jesus Christ wants to raise you back up and keep you up there. This is only possible if your life in the rhythm of the law of aerodynamics, the law of hope, the law of courage. Amen. Thank you.